hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day or a great night depending on when you're watching this video if you are new to my channel welcome my name is desiree and i do all things budgeting if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button or turn the notification bells on go ahead and do so that way you would be notified anytime i upload a new video I just got a text message saying cha-ching, so that means I just got paid. And before I think about moving on to the next paycheck, I need to close this one out first before moving on. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do, I may not zoom you guys in. If so, it'll be just a little. So on the 29th, we know that this, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong day so let's try this here so on the 6th we ordered food from Amazon and I rounded that up to $33 we ate at home we actually had cheeseburger pizza subs I don't know it's some idea that I came up with but they were good we also had $20 left over for food on the 7th I did spend $5 from Oh No, and I did spend that for Travis. We also ate at home again, and we had pretty much leftovers. On the 8th, this says that my brother-in-law owes me $32 because I ended up ordering his wings, and he don't have a debit card. Well... I take that back. He has a debit card, but not for those purposes. So he owes me $32, and I just paid for his wings on my credit card. And it's just a reminder. Also, there was a no spin because we had Philly cheesesteaks at home. On the 9th, this is where it gets a little interesting. And let me zoom you guys in some more. So I went ahead and did grocery shopping from Walmart and spent $41. That means that I was over by $15 because we only had $27 left. So now I'm in the negative. Also, we ate at home. We had chili cheese dogs. On the 10th, I turned around and spent $45 from Instacart. We also ate at home. We had Sloppy Joes and Tots. On the 11th, I wrote this on the wrong day, so I just kind of scribbled it out. But I went to Walmart. I spent 38 Now, that means that I'm negative $96. And then on the 12th, which was yesterday that made day 11 of eating at home we had fish fillets mashed potatoes gravy and i think green beans so when it comes to food we started off with 60 bucks we ended up negative 98 so that means i spent 158 dollars also this this is wrong right here when it comes to travel we still had 42 dollars left for gas and i still haven't gotten any gas yet i would have gotten some yesterday but i didn't when it comes to essentials i still had that 15 dollars i spent six and i had nine left i went and got some change for laundry so we can wash but i ended up not washing so i have to do that today I'm actually thinking about getting one of those portable washers and dryers from Amazon to see how they work out. But I'm not sure just yet. When it comes to Oh No, I still had that $7. I ended up spending $5 and only had $2 left. When it comes to Be Kind, I still had my $5. So that means the starting amount was $129. I spent 169 now to think about it 
this number is wrong that should have been a six instead of an eight and this should have been 96 instead of 98 so that means all together 42 and let me just get my calculator so I can add everything up. So $42 plus 9 plus 2 plus 5 equals $58 left over in cash. And I have that here, which you can't see, which I need to zoom out as well. So I have all of that cash over here off to the side. And let me just bring it in a little closer. And I do have everything written out so I have $20 that needs to go back into the bank I ended up sending someone $20 on cash app and they gave me cash so I need to put that back into the bank I do have my 20 25 26 $27 from groceries that I need to put back into the bank so I can pay off a credit card I have my twenty forty one two dollars for travel. I have my should be nine dollars five six five six seven eight nine dollars and nine dollars is for essentials. Is it for essentials? Let me see. Yeah, nine dollars for essentials, and then. five six seven so this isn't right so five dollars for oh no we have two dollars from oh no and that five dollars is from be kind not oh no and then i had to take ten dollars from self-care because i do have a appointment scheduled for next week it's kind of hard to book hair appointments when your stylist doesn't have too many appointments for when you are off work. So I finally found a day where I can go in at 530 to get my hair done. And that $10 is from my deposit. So all together, let's see how much I have. Now some of this money I'm keeping. So we'll talk about that. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I do need to go back and change this because it's negative 96 instead of negative 98. So I need to change both of these. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use $20 because it's needing to go back into the bank. Which, what I'm going to do is pretty much keep this in all cash. That way, I'm just going to send the cash over from my new paycheck. And if you hear a dog barking, Jasmine is in the living room by herself. And, yeah, she, she don't like that. So, she always wants someone around. If not, she will terrorize the house. Just like a toddler when no one is watching her. So we have $20 that's going back to the bank. We have $27 going back. And I need to take out one, two, four dollars. And those four dollars is to go into rollover. So let me get this. You remember when I paid the bill for my mom's car, I did have some cash left. And I just borrowed some cash from this envelope and I'm going to put that back now. So I should have 50 all together. So 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with this cash just yet. So that's taken care of. And I'm going to keep all of this in cash and I know 20 40 50 5 6 7 8 I'm going to use the rollover cash from all of these over here for my 100 envelope savings challenge 
And let's see which number I can do. So we have $58. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and color in 58. Wrong side. And that looks what I missed. But whatever. So yeah, get colored in. And I'm going to add that cash to the savings challenge envelope for my 100 envelope challenge. I've already gave $4 to rollover. And what I'll do, let's see how much this is. 20, 40, 5, 50, 51, 52, 53. So this $53, I'm going to go ahead and keep it since it's in cash. And I'm going to probably use this cash for something else such as what is she doing can y'all hear her she sounds like a little bird when she whimpers and cries that's crazy she's probably i don't know i don't know what she's doing at the moment but i'm going to go find out so we have 58 colored in and this savings challenge is from arison's love be quiet and I'm going to use this cash for cash envelopes most likely. Or I'm going to just, what I'll do is add it back into the budget and go ahead and send the money where it needs to go. Add this back into the budget and just have it as cash for cash envelopes. Or I can use it for savings or something like that. So, so all of this was the same normally when i get paid everything is all the same when it comes to the bills and normally nothing changes except for cash envelopes so for food we budgeted for 150 i ended up spending 248 dollars that means i was over by 98 bucks i don't know why i put a plus sign but whatever when it comes to travel i spent 58 dollars I had $42 left when it comes to oh no. I spent $8, had $2 left when it comes to be kind. I didn't spend anything when it comes to essentials. I spent $9 and had a little cash left over. When it comes to the savings right here, all of those are the same for $367.58. Of course, we had that $58 leftover for rollover and what i'm going to do is just go ahead and do my other budget for the second paycheck and go check to see what this dog is doing because she's probably terrorizing some stuff and yeah i hope you guys have a great day don't forget i almost forgot myself don't forget about the bcl budget community link oh my gosh she's already getting on my nerves don't forget about the budget community link. It looks like I'm going to have to edit some parts out of this video. But don't forget about the budget community link. And don't forget about the I am challenge. Or is it a challenge? Or better yet, it's a whole entire movement. So don't forget about that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.